Hope Yonke serves as the Director of Public Safety Officers Benefits, PSOB for short. Maybe we just begin by, if I could ask you to explain the most significant points of the PSOB program. Let's go back in time for just a moment to 1976. That was when the PSOB program really began and it was only the death benefits program. It was available for firemen and policemen who had died in the line of duty. And that program began, began as a very simplistic program. Let's fast forward to today. What we have now is a PSOB law that has been amended eight, I think it's 18 or more than 18 times at this point. We have increased coverage of various types of public safety officers. We've increased the types of injuries that can be covered. Uh, many of you are very familiar with the Hometown Heroes Survivors Benefits Act of 2003, and that allowed certain eligible heart attacks and strokes to be covered as well. So we have almost a wholly new program. In 1990, we, we created the disability program. We have educational assistance now as well. And along with all of those changes and increases in coverage in the types of deaths that can be covered, another thing that's, um, that exists today that didn't exist back in 1976 are the local assistance state teams through the National Fallen Firefighters Foundation. And we have fantastic support at the grassroots level. Okay, this isn't in the Beltway. This isn't in Washington, D.C., although there is assistance in Washington, D.C. But this is out where real people live and work, and these last teams are providing one-on-one -on -one support when requested to assist with PSOB cases and to assist with a whole range of other resources to survivors and to surviving agencies. The goal of the last team is to, in fact, try to have a representative of the team on the ground um, reaching out to that department that's had that loss uh, within the first six to eight hours after the line of duty death has been notified. What's important to understand is that, it, that we kind of offer our services and we will only come in and help by invitation. It's not a group of people coming in just bulldozing their way in and saying we're here to take over or anything like that. Um, we, we are there to help, we're there to assist and to bring the years of experience we've had in dealing with line of duty deaths to the forefront to make sure that the right decisions are made and some assistance is provided when those questions are going on during that very troubling time for that department. What hasn't changed with PSOB is the, the whole reason it exists. And, and the reason it, it exists is not just about that $300 plus thousand dollar benefit, which is very, very critical and can assist in dire times. But it's really about the honor and the sacrifice of the fallen firefighter and their families who also paid a price and continue to pay a price as they live on. My father was killed in a car accident when I was seven, um, so that was 22 years ago. He was responding to a, a call and the fire engine did not slow down at a stop sign. Um, and unfortunately, he was riding on the back of the engine and uh, he was killed. Um, so that was, that was about 22 years ago. Um, since then, um, I have been able to grow as a person. The foundation has helped me to achieve my goals. Um, my family would not be where we are right now had it not been for the foundation, for the PSOB, to be able to be there, to be able to help us. Um, I'm the first person in my family to receive a master's degree. And that to me is amazing. And I know my dad is looking down on me and saying congratulations. So if, if it was not for the foundation, for the PSOB, everybody involved looking out for us being there, I wouldn't be where I am right now.